welcome to the 52nd lecture of digital electronic subject in this lecture we will be dealing with how to uh, realize a full subtractor using NAND gates only so in lecture number 51 we have dealt with the realization of full subtractor using XOR gate as well as realization of full subtractor using AND or invert logic so to have a recap of uh, full subtractor we are having a two table okay the two table of full subtractor is given here and the corresponding min time and max time expressions of full subtractor is given and in the last lecture we had derived the expression for full subtractor for difference and borrow now let me uh, let me uh, take a step forward to realize it using NAND gate so realization realization of full subtractor realization of full subtractor using NAND gate realization of full subtractor using NAND gate so here what we have is uh, difference D is given by B in X bar or B in bar X B in X bar or B in bar X so if you are drawing the camera for it okay. this is B in X 0 1 0 1 so this is B in bar, this is B in H bar X. So B in H bar. So here it will be one. This one is B in bar H. This one is B in bar H. B in bar H. So here you, you will get one. Now if you are getting the, you know, see, you can see that this is uh, sum of product um, format expression. Now if you need to get the POS expression, you take the zero part, this is zero zero, so this becomes a B in and this is B in bar, this is X and this becomes X bar. Therefore in POS form, difference can be regarded as B in or X and B in bar or X bar. So that you can realize it as B in or X and B in X the whole bar what is it basically that is B in dot B in X bar or X dot B in X bar so that is D so what is D bar D bar is B in dot B in X bar or X dot B in X bar the whole bar okay so what is it that is b in dot b in x bar the whole bar dot x dot b in x bar the whole bar so what is d d is b in dot b in x bar bar dot x dot b in x bar bar the whole bar so that is basically in NAND form okay now if you are looking for this um, X what is X? X is basically what? X is basically A X or B X is basically A X or B and if you are uh, taking uh, taking a similar expression for uh, X like D X you can write it as A dot a B bar bar dot B dot uh, A B bar bar the whole bar. So it is also in NAND form. Now it is also in NAND form. Now you got D in NAND form, X in NAND form. Now coming to borrow part. So coming to borrow part. So you can write the borrow is equal to what is borrow? Borrow is equal to B in X bar or A bar B b in x bar or a bar b so so to further simplify that i am writing it as b in x bar or you can write b and a bar or p bar 
because b b bar b b bar is zero so you can uh, you can have a bar b same as b and a uh, b and a bar of b bar therefore what is b bar b bar is b in h bar or b and a bar or b bar the whole bar okay what is it that is b in h bar or b a b bar a bar or b bar is a b bar according to the morgan's law the whole bar so what is it that is b in h bar the whole bar dot b a b bar the whole bar so that is b bar therefore what is b b is b in h bar the whole bar dot b dot a b bar bar the whole bar so this is again in nand form okay so to realize the entire circuit using um, nand format okay so let me write all the terms first so what is x x is a dot uh, a b bar the whole bar dot b dot a b bar the whole bar the whole bar okay so that is x and what is difference difference is given by difference is given by b in b in dot b in x bar the whole bar dot x dot uh, b in x bar the whole bar and bar of it okay so that is uh, difference now coming to borrow part okay what is borrow borrow is borrow is b in x bar the whole bar b in x bar the whole bar dot dot b dot a b bar the whole bar b dot a b bar the whole bar and uh, bar of it okay so that is the solution for b okay now i am going to realize it so first i am going to realize x first i am going to realize x so i am having a is there b is there so first one is a b bar So here I am getting a b bar. So next a dot a b bar the whole bar. A dot a b bar the whole bar. This a dot a b bar the whole bar. Now b dot a b bar the whole bar. So this is b dot a b bar. The whole bar, and again you nand to that two. So here you will get x. So x is ready. Now coming into next part, b in b in. So what is b in the this one? Uh, b in is uh, you to find d b in x whole bar b uh, b in x this you having and get here you will get b in x bar okay then b in dot b in x whole bar this b in dot b in x bar the whole bar as soon as x dot b in x the whole bar so it is here this here and b in x bar okay b in x bar is here so i am just nailing it so this is x dot b in x bar the whole bar and if you are nailing that to so nailing that to you will get difference now coming to what is borrow borrow is uh, b in x bar the b in x bar is, no, uh, is not anywhere ok so b in is there b in is there and you can take x bar so x is there you can take x bar i think that is fine right b in
yeah that is that is fine so you can have bean uh, so this is x so you can take x bar this is x bar we are having bean x bar hold bar b in its bar hold bar dot b dot a b the hold bar b dot a b the hold bar that is here and if you are landing uh, that too you will get borrow now see this is b in its bar okay now if you are going for this is see how many NAND gates are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11 NAND gates are there. See if there are 11 NAND gates. Now, is there a possibility to reduce number of NAND gates? Let us think of it. So, you are having B is equal to, so that is only uh, possible by by varying the value of B. Because D is with D, you cannot change anything. So, coming into B, what is B? B is B in H bar or A bar B. Okay. So, this part is correct. So, what you can do is, so you can write this bean, bean and, what is, uh, what is h bar? h bar is, you can write this, uh, a, it's not b bar, or b and a bar or b bar. Okay, so what is it? That is bean and then here, here, how will you choose any other uh, track? So this is a bar, b bar, or a b, a bar, b bar, or a b, and b and a bar or b bar. So now see now what is b bar? B bar is yeah. now you go for b bar. B bar is b in and a bar b bar or a b or b a b bar the whole bar. So what is it? That is b in and a bar b bar or a b the whole bar dot b a b bar bar so what is it that is it what is that basically that is b in bar that is b in bar b in bar or a bar b bar or a b the whole bar dot b a b bar bar it has remain it there so what is it that is basically b in bar or here what you get here what you get is a bar b bar bar dot a b bar ok dot b a b bar bar ok so that is it that is b in uh, b in bar or a bar b bar bar dot a b whole bar ok so what is uh, what is a bar b bar the whole bar a bar b bar the whole bar is a or b right so that is b in bar or a or b and a bar or b bar right dot b or a b bar the whole bar ok now if you are simplifying it you will get uh, this is basically what this is basically a or b or a bar or b ok so that is b bar so if you are simplifying it Okay, can you simplify it? That is B in bar or A bar is zero. So again, uh, here you will get A B bar or here you will get A B bar or A B, right? 
this a b bar b b bar is zero yeah then you will get a b bar or a bar b a b bar or a bar b and b a b bar the whole bar okay so what is it the okay now okay, what is it this is basically what uh, now if you are uh, raising a b bar or a b how would it be it is like a b in bar or and it is a a b bar bar dot b a b bar a b bar bar the whole bar right okay so that is basically a xor gate now if you are taking the combination of this you can get and and b a b bar bar okay so if you are taking the combination of combination like this and taking uh, taking this b then you can you, you can reduce the number of nand gates so that is if you are going for b so b, i would write b once more so you get what is b bar b bar is what b bar is b in bar it is b in bar or b in bar or a a b bar the whole bar a a b bar the whole bar dot dot b a b bar the whole bar the whole bar that use this one uh, as circuit whole bar and b a b bar that is all with b a b bar a b bar the whole bar b a b bar the whole bar what is it okay so this we can write it as uh, b bar b bar we can write it as um, how b in bar dot b a b bar bar or a a b bar bar dot b a b bar bar the whole bar okay so what is b b is you get it as b in bar dot b a b bar bar or a b a dot a b bar a dot a b bar the whole bar dot b dot a b bar the whole bar bar again bar of it so how we can write this that is b b you can write it as b in bar dot b dot a b bar b dot a b bar bar the whole bar dot dot you know to get a a b bar bar dot b dot a b bar bar again bar it now if you are simplifying this a uh, now now if you if you are if you need to simplify this part okay now see now you are getting b but this is see this is in nand form and this is in nand form and the entire term is not in nand form so so better you take b complement and complement of that so what you get it is that b in bar dot b dot a b bar bar dot a a b bar bar dot b a b bar yeah here one bar is uh, one bar I have forgot to keep yeah b dot a b bar bar b dot a b bar b dot a b bar 
the whole bar yeah a dot a b bar bar okay one more bar is there and above that one more bar is there and here there is one bar again complement then the other thing okay that means this is again in NAND form this is again in NAND form okay now if you are realizing this B then it will be possible to reduce the number of case so I am not going into that much depth okay because the because this is sufficient okay now here you can here what we can see is that now here what we can see is that if you are looking into this this is from say half subtractor okay and the second part this one this one forms another half subtractor only difference is that the borrow is only difference from the half subtractor is that borrow is taken separately so we can we can directly say that uh, full subtractor full subtractor is is a combination of is a combination of two half subtractors okay. so okay. so now I have realized this um, full subtractor using NAND gates only okay so that was the crux of this lecture and in the next lecture we will realize this full subtractor using NOR gates only okay so the so uh, wishing you all the best for the next lecture and be there for the next lecture. Thank you.